So, I'm inside because I'm going to be showing you my entire rock collection. Um, and just to get this out of, way, out, out of the way, I'm sorry for any background noises. There's lots of construction going on in my house because we're doing this sort of remodeling thing. And also, my my room is being sort of used as a storage um, place. And so there's lots of stuff stacked up everywhere. So sorry if you see some of that. It's not that I'm messy. I like being clean. But it's just, um, I'm being, my room is being used for for storage and I nor I already have a small room it's 8 by 10 feet so yeah sorry about that and this video is gonna be very long so I hope my battery doesn't run out um, and the lighting probably won't be that good so sorry about that in advanced and it's not gonna be edited because I don't have any editing software and yeah so you know sorry about that but to get started with these boxes. So this is the first one. Uh, and I won't be going through every single one of these. Just, just to let you know. Uh, so, uh, this is, these are some cool rocks. They're just like sort of normal rocks with little uh, statues on them. This is like an eagle. And then this one is a snake. And then there's some agates and um, tumbled rocks in here, and a slab of geode, and some pretty blue rocks in here. So yeah, that's the first box, and I'm going to put it back under, and oh, I didn't open it here. So they, these boxes go in here under my actual rock collection, and we'll get to that after this, these boxes. Oh, there we go. So these are some bigger rocks. This rock I painted when I was younger, this one, and this one. So yeah, uh, I was obviously very young when I did that. And then here's some smaller tumbled rocks, some pieces of glass actually, and uh... A really pretty tumbled rock that has some crystals in here. Um, oh, and also this one. It's got crystals on this side, as you can see. So yeah, that's the second box. There we go. Second box is in. Oh, and also if anyone who's watching this has any questions about any rocks just leave a timestamp in the description or in the comments and um you know ask a question and maybe i'll make a future video on just like that specific rock or a group of rocks or i'll just you know answer to you in the comments if anyone has anything so yeah here's the third box of rocks so these rocks all along here um are geodes that I cracked open and um, and a really cool way of cracking open geodes at home if you don't have a saw um, is putting them in a sock and then uh, gra grabbing a hammer and uh, hitting it in there so there's no chance of anything flying and hitting you because uh, it's you know surrounded by the, the sock so that's a really good safe way uh, for you to do that and here are some smaller pieces of the geodes they're all just uh, white quick crystals and here's a really cool rock I don't really know what it is, but it's got lots of crystals, and yeah, it's really pretty. Uh, and here's some opal, and this piece right here. I'm so sorry, my camera doesn't focus that well. But yeah, there's some white opal here. So yeah, that is the third box. On to the fourth and final box and then we'll go into the wardrobe all right oh wrong side so um this this box is a bit simpler here is a thunder egg uh, and the tin on there is 10 cents not ten dollars uh, this one was pretty cheap and it's a bit stuck in there 
Oh, yeah, there we go. So it's just a slab, not an actual, you know, half of it. And it's not uh, polished, as you can see. But I sort of like how it looks naturally. So, this is the fourth box. Okay. So, let's do the top first. So, I won't be naming any of the rocks. So, if anyone has any questions, please, please, please uh, tell me in the comments. And then I will, you know, try and answer them. I don't know the names of, like, half the rocks in my collection, but I'll try. Um, so, here's some really pretty ones. And the, all of these on this black paper, I got at the same place. Um, and yeah. Um, here's some more in the front. This is a really cool black one. It like, I don't know how to describe it, but. Yeah, it's really cool. And then here's a bag of just some tumbled rocks and agates and stuff. It's like a grab bag. And then here's a display of rocks. They have numbers on them so that I can identify them. There's a piece of paper under uh, the little casing uh, so I know what they are. And this is just magnifying glasses, lenses, like extra flash flashlights and stuff because this is uh, UV. It's blue, although it looks white in the camera. It's blue. And it'll turn some of the rocks different colors, but you can't really see it in the camera, which sucks. <laughs> So here are some pieces of granite and fluorite, and a ring that's too big for my pinky finger and too small for my ring finger, <laughs> so it sucks. Uh, here's some more toy rocks, or rocks that I got in a kid's playset. And then here is um, some animal figurines. I have more than this, but they're just set up in another part of my room. So there's a buffalo, an armadillo, a frog, a pig, and another buffalo. And some pieces of fluorite and other things behind them. And then there's a doll that I keep. Um, it does look a bit creepy back there, but I promise you she doesn't look as creepy in real life. But I had nowhere else to put her, so she's just hanging out there, right there. There's some more displays. Uh, there's a piece of paper, you know. <laughs> and more displays and some bags. And some more rocks right here. And some equipment, like um, safety glasses, and this is a hammer. So yes, this is the first shelf. So, whew, on to the bottom part of the wardrobe. So, there are some shelves here. I didn't have room to put them in my shell collection, which is in a couple of my drawers in a dresser behind me. So if anyone wants to see that, please let me know and I'll just sort of show them off. I've got two big boxes full of shells and fun stuff, but I didn't have any room, so I put these here. And this is a piece of coral, some bigger shells right here and right here, and down here. So yeah, uh, let's start over here. There's some amethyst, some uh, rolled sphere, and an egg, and there's also an egg right here. Um, this is a really pretty, let's see if I can get in, um, slab of a um, geode, and it's got a padding on the back, which is really nice. So yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Let's see if I can put this back safe. Oh boy. Okay, I really hope that stays. Okay, funny story. Oh boy, about this big geode. I found this at a Goodwill in a plastic bag. It's 100% real. It's smoky quartz in here. It's all real. It's, you know, look at all those nice little crystals. And I got it for, I think, $7 at a Goodwill. Isn't that weird? Alright, I hope that stays. <laughs> I'm never quite sure. So, yeah, those are that's some of my rocks on these shelves. Oh, and this is also 
a peacock rock. Uh, as you can see, it's very pretty. It's got the gold on here and some blue and purple there. Splunk. Okay, what else? So down here are just um, assortments of tumbled rocks and agates and fun stuff. Here's a rock that I found at the beach one time. The you know how water you know wears away at rocks. Um, I found this. It has a perfect hole right here and right here. And I thought that that was really cool because you know the water wore away at it. And two perfect tunnels. And it's actually really smooth. It looks a bit bumpy, but it is really smooth. And sorry, um, I do have a bit of allergies, so I'm sort of sniffing, and my voice is sort of uh, not as good. So. Sorry, sorry about that, but um, here is a, a wish bottle. Um, you can put you know string through here and have it as a necklace. I just prefer to keep it down here. But yeah, there's you know heard of bison on here. That's really really pretty. On um, back here, I don't know if you can see it or not, is a, uh, a carved apple, which is pretty cool. So in this gourmet bean blend, a uh, big tall thing, it's just assorted regular rocks, tumbled rocks, just all of the above. And um, up here are two painted rocks that I made when I was younger, obviously, and I try to make them pet rocks, but, you know. Um, oh, and over here, it's a really pretty piece of prairie rock, I'm pretty sure it's called, because it looks like a prairie landsca landscape. If you look at it in the right way. And that 50 of there is 50 cents, not $50. Because uh, this type of rock is really cheap. <laughs> Let's put this back. And then there are some bags of smaller geodes that I cracked open. And um, there's my really bad handwriting when I was younger. And they had a guide to how rare they were. And so I wrote that there. It's probably not true. Smoky quartz isn't that. Uh, rare. So I have like 10 of these. A few are down here and a lot are up here on my big dresser like thing. But I won't take everyone out, everything out because there are a lot obviously. Here's a piece of ugh, obsidian. It is glass so I don't really want to, you know, rub it in anything because, you know, it could, it could hurt me. Like, look at that really cool so yeah there's lots of bags up there uh, with just you know smaller geodes stuff so this is a huge piece of petrified wood um, here's some gemstone I don't know if my camera will focus enough to for you to be able to see it maybe I don't know but there's just things like rose quartz amethyst aquamarine uh, Red Jasper, Aventrine. Oh, wait, no, you can see it. Maybe. So, yeah. And let's see if I can move some of this stuff, because this is my favorite rock. Right. Oh, sorry about that. Nothing broke, if anyone was wondering. <laughs> oh, here are some amethyst beads. I don't know if I'll make a necklace or not. Okay. So this is my favorite rock in my collection. I got it for $7, I think, at a silent auction. There was this girl and me battling off until the last few seconds. Um, but a silent auction, if you don't know, is where you write down your bid, and then someone else will come in and maybe raise your bid. And like, if you still really want it, you'll have to come back and write down. And it'll, they only last for about 30 minutes. And so you try to be the last person on the paper, and the last person gets to pay for the rock. Unless they don't want it. So, yeah, I got this. And it came down to the last second. I finally wrote my name as the timer went off for the silent auction. And as you can see, it's just gorgeous. I have no idea what type of rock it is. But it's beautiful. My camera doesn't really show, up, show it that well. Which is sort of disappointing, but like there's different bits of crystal like all over the place and sedimentary looking stuff everywhere. 
and it's awesome. I love this thing. I'm so glad I got it. <laughs> okay, bud. Let's. I just called my shell bud. All right. Let's try and move this back a little bit. This coral is very fragile, so I don't want to break it any more than I did. As you can see, I broke off an arm. And let's move this guy back. All right. That looks about the same. <laughs> um, here's a little uh, bracelet that I'm probably going to put on soon. Uh, this is a dyed geode that my friend got me. N no... No geode, as far as I know, comes in this color that's natural. But, you know, you never know. It's really nice. And then, this is the biggest rock in my collection. This is how big it is compared to my hand. It's very big. And you can see that there's lots of shells um, and periwinkle shells and stuff in there. Um, and so, you know, they're just fossils. It's a big fossil rock. And if you were to cut into it, like slabs, There'll be lots of really cool um, cross-sections of shells. And yeah, that's really cool. And then this right here is a huge piece of black obsidian. As you can see, it, it is pretty big, you know. It's one of my biggest. And then this is a piece of petrified wood um, in a rock, I'm pretty sure. As you can see, it's really cool. Um, there we go. Oh, and there's another egg. So I have one two apple three eggs and a sphere okay we're almost over home stretch oh so sorry about my sniffing and stuff and my breath my lungs aren't really working that well so here are some thunder eggs uh these this one this one this one and this one are not polished as you can see but these two are and then there's some other ones back there, other various rocks. Um, and let me grab this one. As you can see, this is a really pretty one. Let's see if it'll focus. Come on, camera. Please work. So yeah, you can sort of see it. Again, I'm really sorry about my camera quality. I'm trying to convince my mom to get me an upgrade. <laughs> And I probably just blew right into the speaker. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> so here are a lot of smaller rocks. Um, I think these are some pieces of holly blue uh, rock. With some crystals in there. Yeah. Oh, sorry. So yeah, these are more crystals and natural looking crystals. And again, if anyone wants to see some of these close up, please let me know. <laughs> and this is a worry stone. Um, it's an owl on, looks like tiger eye. And then this is a gecko. I'm gonna be getting a gecko soon and I'm really excited. <laughs> oh, here's a piece of geode back here. Let me get it just in case anyone wants to see. It's nice and pretty. Okay. Put it back. There we go. Piece of petrified wood. And a few assortments of stuff. Okay. Oh, this is a piece of mother of pearl. Let's see. If you can see that. Yep. Um, a few more assorted. Some slabs of... Uh, geodes right here there's one back there okay so i'm gonna have to move this piece of obsidian right here to get to the last two so excuse this for a second i'm gonna put this down here and i want to move this egg over here There's a few more pieces of uh, geode, and I'll show you what these two things are. Hold on. Let me get them out. Oh. 
And of course now you can see the mess in my room. <laughs> okay. So, first of all, this is a bison tooth. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it well. It is cracked on the back, which is sad. Okay. So, this is what this person called a stupid box. It's, <laughs> it's a box, and it's pretty stupid. That's what he said. I think they're actually pretty cool. So they're like a, a branch that he cut, and then he hollowed it out. So in here are full uh, our uh, nutria teeth uh, that my dad trapped and killed uh, on our property because we have a nutria problem where I live, and so we would just take the skulls and uh, you know pull them out and wash them and stuff. Uh, and in here are some clay uh, strawberries <laughs> that my sister made. And there's one that couldn't fit, which is right here. So again, in here are two... Oh, hold on, let me move this. This bison tooth. Alright. Two stupid boxes, a few um, agate slices, or sorry, geode slices. Um... A really cool geode that I cracked open, some pyrite or fool's gold, um, some small Mexican geodes. I can't forget. I can't remember the name, uh, but those are from Mexico, and a few more um, geodes that were cut open with a saw. Now the last box. Let's see, I don't even know what's in here. Okay, I'm gonna have to move some more uh, rocks. So, bear with me. I'm just gonna put you right there. Okay. I hope that works, please. And also, this is a really cool piece of uh, green jasper, I'm pretty sure. Let me put this down real quick. Okay, the last shelf slash drawer, whatever. So I'll move this. Uh, okay, whatever. <laughs> move another rock. Well don't. Okay. Okay. So right here and right here are pieces of petrified wood. This is obviously a fake jewel. It's probably made out of plastic. Here's some more um, quartz in a display box. Um, another piece of petrified wood. Uh, some prairie rock, which was this rock over here. Um, some, oh gosh, um, topaz. Sorry, I forgot. Topaz right there and right there. Um, another slab of... Oh no, my camera's uh, flashing, but uh, some more, or the battery's flashing, um, slices of geode. And yeah, so that is pretty much it. I'm going to try and wrap this up really quick. So thank you so much for watching, and if anyone has any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I will answer them as soon as I can. So I'll see you next time. Bye!